Alright, it's finally time to explore Tornish Tower, and this is going to be a really annoying segment to record because... First, let's hear the awesome music. I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot of that music later. But, um, anyway... Um, I have to record this pretty quickly because I'm going to be going to the store, unfortunately, really soon, and I wanted to get this recorded and uploaded before I have to do that, and I only have a half an hour, so... Unlike all the other segments, I'm just going to let it run. I mean, usually I just keep going, like after I finish one segment, uh, I just go on and record the next and the next until I finish the area. Here, that will not be possible. Anyway, here we've got these Metroid-style doors. The blue ones, you just have to shoot. And here we have... nothing. Never mind, I thought there was a pit there. I know you can bomb that question is, do I want to? I'll see. Oh, uh, the spike is annoying, but... Go back a little bit slower, why don't you? Ah. Okay, now these things are coming out of the walls. First they came out of, like, wire mesh, now they're coming out of the walls. I don't know what's up with those. I'm still convinced that they basically, like, implode into themselves or something. Okay, and there is a heart piece that I do not know how to get. And this door does not open, so... My choices at this point are go left or bomb that one hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and bomb the hole. Because that's how I roll, bitch. Getting damaged because I don't care. These things you gotta be careful because when they shoot out the puke you can't it like damages you, so gotta avoid the puke. And now we have a very fast moving spike and a bunch of things that I'm gonna mow down with missiles. And can I get past? Yes I can. And heart piece here. <laughs> and click outside the window here. Okay, let's do this one. I don't know why I feel rushed. It's like... I mean, when I record the next segment of this, it's just going to be later on when I get home, and then I'll just, like, play through to the part where I got, and then start recording there. So there's really no reason for me to be in a hurry or anything. It's not like I have to finish the whole thing. Anyway, there's a key. Um, I don't know how many keys are in this level either. I never bothered counting for any of them, because I just honestly don't really care, so, um, yeah. Okay, how do I get through that door? Can I keep going this way? That wall does look a little fragile, I think I can bomb that. Woot. Spikes, not woot. Okay, these bats should be an instant kill with the sword now, so I don't have to screw around with the Shadow Blade much. I have absolutely no idea where I'm trying to go. I just found another key, that's always nice. Yeah, basically this is another one of those explore and find stuff levels. Just like the last one. The difference, though, is that this one is actually fun. Because it's like a side-scroller and stuff, and those are cool. Okay, so... Do I want to go up here? Probably not. No, I can't go anywhere anyway, because this ladder is too high. When your lawn is too long, you have to mow it. God, how did that go? It was from... Shank Daddy X. I think that's his name. His monster stories. From the Paranormal Conspiracy Board on GameFAQs. It has, like, this... GeoCities site, or maybe it was Angel Fire, I don't know. And there's this part where he writes this poem about, like, how awesome he is when he fights vampires or something. And there was a part that went, when your lawn is too long, you have to mow it. I don't know. I haven't seen that in a couple years. Eh, getting damaged by puke. 
And we have a pit, which I can fall in, apparently. I don't think I want to, because I've been on that screen down there. And there is another heart base that I would wish to procure. And this floor collapses, doesn't it? Yep. Stop hurting me. I love this song, though. Okay. How do I get through this again? Oh, yeah. Stop clicking outside the screen. God, that's become a problem lately. Um, yeah, this floor is a slightly darker color than the rest, which means you can burn it. And I got another heart piece. That's two in one segment. Wow. And also two Ks. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to die pretty soon, so it's a good thing that I'm going to save after not too long, I think. Okay, I don't know where that door goes. Don't really care. Here's like a moldy wall, which has a key in it. And in here we have a thingy with nothing in it. Oh, Pito, you and your level design. Alright, so let's check out what's in this door. And I have no idea where I've been and where I haven't, so... Before I start the next segment, I'm going to have to watch over this one and pay attention to all the paths that I didn't take. I drop off here. Yeah. Where is the... Oh, that's where I burned the hole. Have I been over here yet? I don't even know. Let me check my mini-map. Uh, I guess I've been doing a pretty good job exploring down here. That's the collapsible floor. Snakes. Why are there snakes in here? This isn't the plane. And here we have another key. How many of these are there going to be? You should be able to walk over there, but you can't. Ugh. Stop shooting me. And more snakes. And an energy tank that I can't reach yet. And it can't ever reach, because this was a dead end, apparently. Unless I can bomb open the floor, which I don't think I can. Now, that wouldn't be possible here, because there's already secret flags on the screen, because you have to burn that wall. This one, it, the floor looks stable, so... Yeah, I don't think you can get down there. Once again, my knowledge of how Z-Quest works comes into effect, or... Uh, I know that I haven't been up that ladder and stuff to the left, but I feel like there's something I haven't done. And that thing is getting hurt by the puke. And these funky little spastic robots. Wait, I've, I've been through this place like 20 times now. Ah, oh, whatever. Um, yeah. Okay, I guess that was all I could do. Hope this music isn't too loud. I turned it down, but, uh, yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Okay, time for more exploration and maybe dying. I haven't had any of that in a while. I think the last time I died was maybe on... Um, actually, I don't even remember when it was. <clears throat> I think it was four times so far. One was from the Geodudes. I don't know. So... Let's not get killed by these bats. That was a close one. I haven't opened that door yet, but where does this lead? I've been down here, right? Think. Yeah, I've been in there. So let's open up this door and see if there is any candy inside. There is most definitely not any candy inside, and I'm stuck behind this door. That was kind of weird. Ah. Um.
Yeah, a little tiny bit of energy. Well, that didn't help in the slightest. <coughs> Been to the right? No, I have not. There's a good chance that everybody watching this has a better idea of where I have and haven't been than I do. And I am taking a very large amount of damage here. Okay, that door opens when you kill everything, and let's see what's through it, and then I will immediately stop recording. And we have snakes! And a locked door, which I will open, and then I will immediately stop recording. Yeah, so, um, yeah, next time, more of this tower. I hope you will find it entertaining.